Alright, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkPad 13 Ultrabook. Um, the model type is 20GJ-CT01WW. Right, so first thing we're going to do is remove the screws from the bottom using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. You want to keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. If you mix them up, you can actually cause damage to the computer. Right now it's looking like these screws might actually stay in place, so just unscrew them and keep them attached in the computer. Yeah, it looks like they actually stay in place. Okay, so let's undo all these screws. Um, there's a little hole on the bottom here. Um, this is most likely a BIOS or CMOS reset or battery reset button. If you use a little pin or needle or a small um, paper clip, you can actually press and hold that button 10 to 15 seconds if your computer's not um, showing anything on the display, sometimes that'll fix that issue. All right. So, all right, go ahead and continue removing all the screws. If this video helps you guys, um, with your computer, make sure to like subscribe and share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to fix theirs. And then also if you, if it saves you a bunch of money, please consider throwing a little my way. Every little bit helps. Even a dollar is greatly appreciated. All right. So we're going to use the needle to pull these little rubber pieces out. I use like a little bent needle, but you can use whatever works for you. All right. Again, keep all these little pieces in order. There is a little bit of adhesive um, on the bottom of the rubber pieces. So keep that in mind. All right. Don't get the adhesive all dirty. Otherwise it won't stick back in place. Um, technically these rubber pieces aren't needed for anything. They're just there for aesthetic or to hide the little screws. Um, but yeah, all right, let's go ahead and continue removing the last few screws. So three along the back, then you got three along the center, and then three along the front. Okay, once we get all these screws out, it looks like the cover's somewhat popping itself apart. Actually, no, it's not. That was the screen itself. So usually what I like to do, I like to open up the screen so that it's up like this, at least for recording. And then I get my fingernails in the little gap here. You can use pry tools. And then I use that to kind of push on and pull with my fingernails. So this side's not going to work, so let's turn it around. We're going to try and go from this side, right? So get my fingernails in there, and then I use my thumbs to push on the back to help pop the clips out. So there you go. You can see the clips are just popping out, okay? So once you get that, let's close this up. I'm going to rotate it this way. Then I'm going to get my fingernails along the side edge and do the same thing. You want to be careful with these parts because sometimes they're more fragile. Okay, I'm going to keep going all along the side. Let's go to the other side and continue the same thing. Again, you can use pry tools if you don't want to use fingernails, um, but it helps just let your fingernails grow out a little bit, and then you can do this. All right, so now we got the sides and the front out. The back hopefully should just pop out as we kind of lift it and wiggle it, and there we go. Here you can see we got the bottom cover off. That came out pretty easily. So this computer right now is having issues booting. Most likely it's a bad SSD. Right now it's getting stuck at the press enter for startup options or whatever. So we're going to remove the SSD here. I'm gonna zoom in and show you this. Okay, so we got a M.2 SSD here. Let me see if I can tell what type. It's upside down. There's actually two slots for RAM on this computer. Um, I'll show you that in a bit. So this is a M.2 might be a SATA SSD. Let's see. I'm trying to find any information on here. They have this model number SSD SCKKF um, 256H6L. It doesn't say if it's SATA or PCIe, so I'm going to have to look that up. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the one screw again using the PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. Take that out. This doesn't say, oh, on the bottom it might say here. So it is a M.2 SATA SSD actually, so it's not even PCIe NVMe. I don't know if it will support PCIe NVMe, but here you can see on the bottom it says Intel, and then it says Serial ATA, so that's how you know it's a SATA SSD. Usually when it's SATA it has two notches, but that's not always the case, so I don't like to just assume. So yeah, 
that's a SATA M.2 SSD. All right, let's go ahead and look at the other stuff. So here you can see the two sticks of RAM, the slots for the RAM. So to get the RAM out, what you do is you just get these two tabs on the side and pull them outwards and the stick of RAM will pop up just like that. Then you can take it out. So this is a four gig stick of RAM. They covered the actual RAM sticker. So I'm gonna have to try and carefully peel that up. Okay, so it's four gigs, PC4, 2133P. So that's the type of RAM you want. Uh, PC4, 2133P. You can get any size stick you want. So you can get two eight gig sticks, you can get two 16 gig sticks if you want. Um, just make sure it's the PC4, 2133P. All right, here we go. Um, some In some cases you can use different speeds of RAM, but to be safe, to make sure it's gonna work, you want to get the same speed. If you're okay experimenting and returning the RAM, if it doesn't work, then you can go ahead and try whatever speeds you want. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it doesn't. All right, you got the um, CMOS or BIOS battery here. Some people call it the RTC or real-time clock battery. All right, I'm not going to take everything out. We got the battery here, and the battery connector is right there. So if you're going to disconnect the battery, this one has this little connector that you kind of have to wiggle as you pull it out. You'd have to take all the screws out. I'm not going to do all this disassembly because my customer is outside waiting for me. Um, but here you can see the battery model number. Um, there's two part numbers here, SB10J78998 or 01AV401. You'll want to check yours to see if your model number is different. But that's what I see in here. All right. Uh, what else here? Wireless card. I try to remove this on every, almost every video. One screw, then it pops up just like the stick of uh, the SSD card. And then the antennas you take out just by pulling up on the tail as close to the connector as possible. You don't want to pry from this side. All right. Um, LCD, LVDS connectors right here. If you're going to remove this cable, make sure that you disconnect the battery physically here and then open up the computer and press and hold the power button for 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, DC jack looks really easy to replace. Um, there's just these hinge covering it, so take those three screws out. Usually you'll want to actually um, open up the computer slightly. So open up the screen slightly like this, undo the screws, and then when you slowly let this back down, the hinge will stay up and out of the way, then you can get this out. There are little clips holding it, so you kind of have to work it out, but it will come out. Okay. Then you got this, I think this is like a dock port or a external graphics card port, I don't know. Um, USB ports all attached. Okay, we got, let's zoom out a bit. So you got the two speakers, they're connected with one wire here and then they plug to the motherboard there. Um, I'm not sure which cable's what here because I don't want to take the um, battery out since the customer's outside waiting, I don't have time to do all that stuff. Um, but everything else seems to be part of the motherboard. This is likely for like trackpad and keyboard or this one might also be for that. I don't see any separate connections anywhere so they most likely go to another board somewhere. So sometimes they'll have this for that little center track point thing and then also the keyboard. There might be another control board under there. As you can see there's some board under here. All right. Um, but if you're curious what's under there, you can go ahead and take your battery out. There's just a few screws holding it. One, two, three, four. Maybe I'll just take the screws out real quick just to lift it up slightly and see what's under there. Okay. Two, three. Make sure you keep the screws in order again. The other screws all held themselves in place, but these ones aren't, so keep that in mind. I'm going to keep the screws in order just in case they are a different size, shape, or length. Right, battery can lift up like this. And here I can see the trackpad cable goes under here. Um, I don't know if I can show this because, let's see. So there you go, trackpad cable. And then there's a board here. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, SD card slot, I think. All right, so I think that's the SD card slot board. So actually, it looks like the keyboard and trackpad cables are actually on the other side, which makes sense because um, I'll show you in a bit, but let's see here. I don't know if I'm going to take out the keyboard, but the keyboard, it comes out from the top. All right, you got the fan connector here, of course, and then there's a fan screw here. I don't know if there's any other screws holding the fan down. It doesn't feel like it, but you probably have to take the whole heat sink out to 
get to the fan or remove the motherboard to get to the other side. All right. There we go. Get all these screws back in. It doesn't look like the screws from the bottom are being hold, held in by the um, by the oops doesn't look like the keyboard's being held in by these screws so let's go ahead and check oh let's also check this hole if there's a the little yeah so the button is right there all right so anyways let's go ahead and put this back together I'm gonna clip the back end first because that's what came out last so make sure that goes in right then we're gonna work our way down the side and then down to the front go I'm gonna tighten this all back up we're going to have to put a new SSD in here most likely, so I'm just going to put it all back together because we're going to have to wait for the SSD. Um, again, this is a M.2 SATA SSD. I don't know if it supports PCIe NVMe, which is a bit faster. Um, so if you want, you can experiment with that. But again, there's a customer's computer and I don't really have time or the resources to experiment with their computers. If it breaks it, I don't want to be in trouble for that. So. Yeah, alright, so let's go ahead and tighten up all these screws. Alright, everything's back in place. Make sure everything is all clipped together. And then let's go ahead and put these rubber pieces back. Make sure you put the higher rubber pieces to match up with the casing. So, as, it, as you can see, it raises up. It's not on a completely flat area. So make sure you have the higher raised areas going towards the center of the computer. Okay, just like that. And that's pretty much it. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others. And if it did help you save a bunch of money, please consider throwing a little my way. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Alright, let's drop this. Bye. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to um, mention the keyboard. So as you can see on the keyboard here, it has these little notches. I'm not going to remove the keyboard, but you use these notches to help move the keyboard. I'm just going to use my fingernail because my fingernail can get in there. But as you can see, you can slide this whole bracket up and underneath there's screws here. So to remove the keyboard, you would, underdo, uh, you would undo these tiny screws here. All right. And then once you undo all these little tiny screws, you can actually lift the keyboard out. So this is a pretty common design for these newer Lenovo laptops. And then this little notch is actually to help you pull the keyboard thing back down because you can't, it's really hard to do that if you can't get underneath the keys. All right. So I'm going to just slide this all back in. And yeah, again, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.